Welcome back to Let's Play The Messenger. I'm Burning Dog Face. Oh, holy crap! And, uh, that was actually my first attempt at that this particular time. I hadn't even started my timer yet because I expected to have to redo that intro like 17 times! Huh. Uh, yeah, the timer started. Sorry about that. Ahem. Yeah! That felt good. Down. Fair enough, I'm not even mad. Oh, you don't. Oh, down, okay. Death! Usually there are time shards here when they do this. Why am I doing this? It's gonna be a very large number anyway. realized they didn't do one of those little first time you go to a place transitions for the sunken shrine. Fuck. Every time I come to this area I forget those aren't just painted on. Fucking I wonder if I go back to uh, Ruxton's tomb, will it be different if I go there in 8-bit? Will there be nothing there? Will it just be Ruxton and his staff giving the same lines they had the la when I beat them? Going, uh, okay. Far to the right. Oh, I like how these things are explicitly held up by magic. Magic, which is now grumbling! Because Ruxton's probably been. Uh. Why does he have a tomb? He was already dead. Realized. Death. No. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. Too late, I've escaped you! I don't know. I seem to have accidentally made the right choice. God damn it. Nothing is easy. How am I meant to get in there? Over there, I guess.
pet hunch. Yep. Man, that felt good, starting the episode off by getting the thing. Here we go! Ordinary Candle, take one. Oh, shit! It just goes nowhere. I guess I'm going up? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh no, how the hell could anyone get this in the dark? Yeah, the screenshot for this episode is gonna be a full screen, of course. Oh! Fucking... No, I was trying to get fancy about it. Okay. No, I admit it. I just didn't know that, uh, I just didn't remember the exact positioning of the ring. Oh, this sucks. Thanks for that. Get a peek of these areas. <laughs> Thinking to myself, it would be really handy if some of those fucking uh, fireball guys were around. Wait, that's a lantern. Why isn't it giving off any light? Oh. God damn it! I have no way of knowing where to go after that. Oh, this sucks. Uh, I'll count that. Sure. Oh! Little known fact, this is actually a chiptune remix of the uh, theme from Doom 3. That's a lie. Uh, that's just an almost 20-year-old joke about video games being dark. Shall I wait here and see what comes along? Maybe it's a very, very small saw blade. I'm trying to remember if there are things that only trigger once uh, I activate them. You know, on tracks like that. Okay. Oh, is this a time warp thing? That are you? No. Oh, good. It's my least favorite system from that area. meant to happen. Oh no! What? Hello? Look at that fucking tree. Another zone? Uh, Riviere Turquoise? Oh, right. <clears throat> By communing with nature, the messenger shall obtain the power to lift a minor curse. The air turquoise. No. Wow, that was just embarrassing.
I mean, I don't feel like I'm going to be doing much communing with nature in this region. That's just me. No. Oh, shit! Oh, I like that. Why is it clean in the future? Ah, well done! I thought it was weird that it was full of flowers, as opposed to literally anything else. I don't know. I just thought it was weird that it was uh, full of flowers instead of uh, bamboo. Ow! Well, I should have seen that one coming. Maybe I can clean with nature here, just not in the present. Oh. Shazbot! Ermagerd, I believe, is the, uh... Okay. No! Oh, God! Damn it. Okay, that was me. That was me. I, uh... Tried to jump while I was crouching, so I just did this. Hey, wait! Ha! Where am I? Oh, I believe you have found the sacred grove known as Riviere Turquoise. Looks like a lot has taken place here. You bet! With your perspective as a time traveler, you should be able to see it in both states. This area used to be ruled by demons and completely charred. Until one day, a powerful messenger drove them out and brought in the Butterfly Matriarch so that the grove could heal and become lush again. Worked like a charm! What do you want to chat about? Wait... So if I'm seeing the charred grove in my present time... No. And the restored version in the future... Don't go there. Doesn't that mean there's been a messenger in between my two time periods? Hooray! Time paradox or plot hole? You decide! <laughs> Thanks for ruining the show! Can't you just enjoy the contrast? <laughs> Still clogged, don't need a money wrench to fix it. Oops. Oh wait, I haven't done this in a little bit. Ooh! Ooh! I'm more than halfway there! Yes! What in the hell are you? Ah. Uh, I'm going to guess if I press A. Huh, it's like those things from Shantae. They were extensively used in the last dungeon in, uh, what was the last one I played? Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Where I hated them. Oh, this is just silly. Achieve an unlocked tumble hijinks. Bump off, a f bump on a few flowers in Riviera Turquoise. I'm really glad I didn't read the description for that one now, because that would have spoiled the fact that Riviera Turquoise exists. Oh, they want me to cloud step there. 
Look, I'm tumbling. Can you direct me that way? God damn it, me. Oh shit, I'm really glad I uh, did that. <laughs> uh. Why is this water deadly and the other ones aren't? Just looking around and taking in all the details and whammy! He is right though. I, I can't be the one who, uh, who cleanses the grove, because we already know that this doesn't have fixed time loop rules, because I was able to prevent uh, Kolos and Susez from starving to death. So it can't just be that it's waiting for me to do the thing and save this area. There must be another messenger after me. Whose actions are taken into account... I'm trying to work this out in my head. It's taking the other messenger's actions into account, but not my own, even if they come after me. Okay! Whammo! Those things get annoying after the first hit, so I wanted to make sure that I, uh... No. No! No! Oh. Thank you, Corbel. You know, the one- I'm gonna say this, the ones let say things like, Are you playing with your feet, or is that controller functioning properly? Those actually make me feel bad. Oh, but the really frustrating ones are those go damnable ones. When you've died a whole bunch of times in rapid succession. Close enough! Oh, god damn it. Move your arse! Oh no! Death! Hey, time bugs. Oh, neat. So what happens if I talk to him in 8-bit mode? No, no, it still refers to the present in the past tense. You know, it's funny that this guy always talked like he had all the answers, and in truth, he was just, uh... just as clueless as me, really. When was I supposed to get all the answers to be able to give to my, uh, messenger? I don't even know how I understood the concept of the, uh... What's it called? The, uh... Oh, it didn't have a name. The upgrade I gave the soldier to, uh, improve his, uh, charge shot. How do I go up? Oh. Oh. Oh, good! Not dead. Whoosh! Oh. Oh, okay. I think I can do that. If I can hit this ring... 
Oh, I didn't. Up I go. Oh, I didn't think that one through. Oh. No, 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 Gaiden, don't fall. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play the Messenger, when we continue exploring this peculiar area, and, uh... I have just realized the problem on my right! Goody! Well, that's one thing I'll have to deal with next time. On Let's Play the Messenger. See you then, Burning Dog fans! Later! <laughs>